what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be a review for the 1982 classic paranormal activity film poltergeist poltergeist is one of the more respected more appreciated films that are dealing with the paranormal activity uh type of stuff that film was released in 1982 and i believe this is done by uh this is written by steven spielberg and directed by tobe hooper Yes, so written by Steven Spielberg and directed by Tobe Hooper. This film stars Craig T. Nelson, Joe Beth Williams, uh, Dominique Dunn, and Heather O'Rourke, as well as uh, the actress who plays Tangina, Zelda Rubinstein. I believe her that's her name. Uh, this is one of my favorite films growing up from the horror genre and what I really appreciate about Poltergeist is that while it was a horror film It was also kind of like a family-esque horror film. I want to say that's kind of what it felt like It felt like a more of a horror film that the whole family could enjoy because at the end of the day It was about this family sticking together through all of the stuff they were going through because the, essentially what the film is about is that the Freeling family that's the family we're focusing on uh, their home is on top of uh, the burial place of a bunch of souls that were led by a corrupt occultist that believed in the end of times and they all died in a cave right below where uh, the house was built on top of where the freelings are living and one of the spirits has one of the spirits is trying to use their daughter to draw more people away from crossing over into the afterlife Heather O'Rourke Heather O'Rourke uh, she plays Carol Ann. Carol Ann is the, pretty much the star of the film, even though she's not really in it for most of it. She's the focal point of the film because she's the character that is being, they're trying to get her back uh, after she crosses over to the other side. What I really liked about this film is the dynamic between the family and how they were just so, they were just so, you could see that there was a lot of caring for these people. These individuals genuinely appeared to care for each other, even though they weren't a real family. Uh, the setting, as far as like where the film took place, I, I think that kind of added to the, uh, the spook factor elements in this film, as well as like some of the creepy, creepy props that they had, like the tree, the tree that Robbie gets stuck in. If you've seen this film, the brother in the film, Robbie gets stuck in the tree. Uh, so yeah once carol ann crosses over to the other side they enlist the help of a bunch of paranormal paranormal investigators who come over to the house and try to see what they can do to help them get carol ann back over to the other side because they believe carol ann is still somewhere in this home poltergeist is the film that's known for that line if you've heard this line before where uh carol ann is in front of the tv that i played at the beginning of the uh, video where she says they're here where she's announcing that the tv people that's what she calls them the tv people but really they're uh, a bunch of male malevolent spirits that don't have the best intentions for carol ann and there's one ultimate spirit in the film that they refer to as the beast who we later find out in the series is actually a priest and he was a priest in life uh they call him the beast in this film and He's basically using the innocence of Carol Ann. Uh, he identified the innocence, the innocence in Carol Ann and, and recognized that it shined just like the light that most people are looking to go into in the afterlife. So he's using Carol Ann's innocence to draw in other spirits that have crossed over so he can use uh, their spirit to gain more supernatural energy in, in his afterlife. Uh, the film as a whole i want to say it's shot well i think it's a beautifully written film that deals with uh family family terror i think the relationships that are on screen between these actors and actresses that are in the freeling family i think that is some of the best acting i've seen for a film that came out so long ago the cinematography in the film is uh not the best because it did come out a very long time ago but it's what they have what they did with something that was on such a low budget back in the day well it wasn't even a low budget i think this movie was made with 10 million dollars if i'm not mistaken so for them to have the cinematography that they did way back in those in those days i think they did a beautiful beautiful job shooting a beautiful film uh heather o'rourke 
and her portrayal as Caroline, I think that I think she was absolutely adorable in the film. Uh, my favorite character, however, is going to have to be Tangina. Tangina, when she gets on screen, I can't help but just smile every time. Every time I watch this film, Tangina makes me smile because there's just something about her that's like very reassuring. Uh, Zelda Rubinstein, she does a she gives an amazing performance here. I watched a few of her other projects growing up, but the one project that I've always been a big fan of. Big, been a big fan of with that actress is of course the poltergeist series because she's known as the clairvoyant tangina i think that's one of her most respected well-known roles from her career and uh so yeah the parents craig t nelson and joe beth williams they do an amazing job as well everyone in the film just does a very amazing job making you believe that they are actually going through this on screen it doesn't feel nothing on screen films forced it all feels very natural everyone seems to genuinely be doing their all to put on the best performance possible steven spielberg wrote a beautiful film uh the film is directed beautifully and the score in this film there's certain songs in this film that when you listen to them nowadays because if you watch a poltergeist growing up you probably didn't pay too much attention to it but there's one song in particular that plays throughout the throughout the film I think is referred to as Carol Ann's song that song kind of just reminds you so much of the innocence that you all once had or everyone once had when we were actually young kids and now how we were just so carefree we didn't have to worry about all the uh, terrors that we now have in the real world now that we're grown up and we have our own lives I always appreciated that song because that song just it kind of just seems like a symbol for the innocence of Carol Ann and what's going on in this film surrounding Carol Ann uh as far as like the special effects go for creating the monsters and the ghosts that we see on screen i think every, i think those are that's done very well for something that came out so long ago again this movie was released in 1982 and i still i this is my opinion that i think the special effects and everything in regards to what happened on screen with the components involving filmmaking for this particular project i think everything in it holds up very well so many years later poltergeist is an absolute classic the original film specifically uh the other two they are okay the third one is actually i'm if i'm gonna just flat out say this the third one is not the best it's actually the worst but for some reason i kind of find that to be my favorite to watch i do not know why do not don't don't misconstrue my words i don't think it's the best but for some strange reason growing up i always wanted to turn on paranormal activity 3 the most i think it's because the because of the fact that it isn't as slow i do think the first film is kind of slow because nothing really happens it's pretty much just focusing on getting carol ann back but there's not a lot of scary things going on outside of the fact that we know that this young girl is stuck in a, a place where she's trying to get back to her parents and her mother and that's all she really wants to do is just get back home and i think that's really what makes this film work so well it's not it's a horror film at the core but it's not relying on like scary elements as far as like the the effects of the monsters that we do see it's relying on the actual overall narrative because something like that is scary the thought of losing a child is scary the thought of never seeing them again is scary especially when this this is a very young girl i think uh carol ann the actress who played her was five years old heather o'rourke and i think carol ann was also five years old in the film but yeah that's what ultimately i think poltergeist was relying on is it was relying on its narrative to be the, the the number one scare factor not necessarily all the other accessories that we had that also added to the scare factors because the thought of alone of losing a child, I think that was enough to scare most of the people that watch this film, if, especially if you have kids. Uh, and then on top of that, we have the idea that there's something on the other side with her that we can't see. So it's that it's the actual thought that we don't know what Carolyn is actually seeing. So that's what also makes us terrified because we don't know what she's seen. And then there's certain scenes and certain props that are used in the film that add on to the terror once terror once Carol Ann has been taken to that other side and I just think this movie is one of the better films that came out in the early 80s for the horror genre uh, another film that I would say is like this to this day and it does not get recognized properly as the actual modern day version of Poltergeist is Insidious I think Insidious is the closest modern version to Poltergeist that we will that we will ever get for many years to come uh, 
this is a beautiful movie. Uh, the acting is amazing. Spielberg wrote another amazing film because Spielberg Spielberg has always been a good a good filmmaker or a good writer for film. Uh, the cast the cast does a, does an amazing job. The cinematography is well done. The visual effects are good. Uh, I give the film a solid seven out of ten. This is one of my favorite horror films. This was also one of my favorites to rewatch multiple times growing up. If you guys have seen Poltergeist and you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review for this month of October because I am going to be reviewing a bunch of horror films on my channel. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.